all right so with the heat wave and how hot greece is right now all you need is a nude beach a lot of water even if you want to keep your clothes on you can't and if you don't love drinking water this drink is pe perfect for you that being said let's get right into this video right about now hello ps fitness family welcome welcome back all right so it's been a while since we put out a vlog on this channel so today i am going to be taking you to a nude beach did i say something it from me so if you are just coming on the channel please 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 don't forget to subscribe like turn on notification because it is going down somewhere in Greece <laughs> you don't want to know come along with me as I show you Greece during summer season from my lens all right let's get right into it so right now we are on the national road after this intro okay so let's get right into it and let's keep going up next road trip let's drive down to Palasana okay one of the nude beach they have numerous nude beaches okay depending on how <coughs> you know <laughs> what you want to do get but comment down below let me know what you think okay but that being said let's drive down to Palasana and if you want to see more nude beach and you want to see let me know and I'll sure bring that to you so before we dive deep into the nude beaches and uh, heat wave going through Greece and whatnot, let me quickly say something. The drink I showed you earlier on, I know some businesses are like, oh, I don't like drinking so much water. Yes, if you're in Greece, now this is free advert, okay? Not paid, okay? I tried this drink and it was lovely and I had to buy different type. And if you're a lover of fruits, okay, you find that flavor you love from passion fruit to cherry name it they have it and it tastes great and it's non-alcoholic drink so it's perfect for the hot summer weather and all of that if you just don't want to be drinking water 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 you need something also sweet and tasty and having all those beautiful aroma and all of that that being said right now we are en route to falasana a beautiful pink sand white pink and white sand beach lovely place where lots of people love to just go out and chill out and all of that and we are driving all the way from hanya access to falasana okay so it depends on where your lodge is if you love falasana you've heard so much about falasana now they also have hotels around that area and you can also get but when we when we get there i'm going to explain more when we are in falasana area right now we are on the national road okay so let's talk a little bit about the happenings in greece because a lot of the news channels bbc and uh, name them they've been carrying the news so maybe you might have seen it on tiktok or somewhere so let me just talk to you a little bit about it this this year is like something strange is happening in Greece. Normally, the summer seasons are always very, very hot, like extremely hot. But this year, it's a bit different. And coming from an African person, then you understand what I mean. Okay, the weather is extremely hot. And some days you don't get any breeze at all. No wind, like everything, the trees, everything is just stand still. And normally, it's not always like that. Even when it's hot, you can still get some fresh air blowing and all of that sometimes but right now this year is totally different okay stand on no wind and sometimes no wind nothing super super hot we're talking about over 40 degrees and above super super hot if you have your cars outside you open it you cannot sit you cannot touch your seat belt and all of that if you break an egg you can fry an egg in few seconds it is that hot okay so the heat wave has been causing so much where people are being warned to be careful, grab more of water. People that are going out are even passing out, like places like Athens where you have all these historical buildings and all of that. People that went to places like Acropolis, if you've heard of Acropolis, it's very famous, it's in Athens. People went there, normally you go there for hours from morning till evening and you can sightsee, see all those stuff, beautiful stuff in Acropolis and all of that. But look, people were passing out, okay? They had to call the medics. They had to even cut down the times where people can from morning and then out all throughout the afternoon is closed and then evening again people can go for sightseeing so that's how hot the, the nation is and if you're stepping out everybody is warning be careful because you might just pass out when nobody finds you and that's it for you okay um secondly there's been fire in athens uh, in area of athens two different areas in athens wildfire and even before we were talking about rounding up with the fire in athens area boom the next was one of the greek islands rhodos okay island picked up 
serious fire they had to evacuate a lot of tourists now these are beautiful beautiful greek islands if you've ever visited greece before even if you've not visited greece before you've seen the photos on google you've seen the photos on instagram tiktok a facebook whatever app you use so you know these are beautiful beautiful greek islands that lots of people love visiting so rhodos island is always full zakintos santorini name them okay crete all of them but now people there were left so like the the police is working over time and if you know one thing about greece greece is not that massive it's like a country of nine million so they're police they're everything they're working over time and the fire is not even looking back because because of the heat a lot of dry grasses dry plants and all of that so a little fire will just pick up and then all of a sudden you will just see the wind coming up maybe Two other dates been calm, nothing from nowhere, serious winds and all of that. And that helps the fire to burn like hell. But well, lots of uh, people were evacuated. Nothing happened to people. People got to safety. Okay, they were ev evacuated from Brothers Island to a different island and all of that. But now the, sp the fire is spreading. If you go through your map, different areas, new areas, picking up fire. The wildfire is going like crazy. Like this global warming thing, it's not even a joke. I'm telling you, global warming, it is not a joke. Sorry for that sound from my phone. Okay, so if you have any questions you want to ask me, let me know. All right, now we're ending Falasana, okay? This area now is Falasana. I was explaining about global warming and all of that, and I didn't tell you earlier, but we are, we've reached Falasana. So you can see by the roadside, you can actually stop and get your drink, okay? Get water, juice, and whatnot. Uh, you can also serve, serve coffee and a little bit of, you know, fast food and things like that along the road, okay? You will also find people that sell traditional products and all of that. Now, right here by my right, you can see a hotel. So if you really love Falasana, you're like, oh, I've heard so much about Falasana, I want to be close to Falasana, then you can actually look up one of these hotels and book for yourself trust me this the, the view the view is something else you have the sunset you can just rent a car drive down the path as you see us do right now down to go and swim and it is so spacious a lot of lot of space there are areas where you don't even need an umbrella okay although if you get down to the beach there are places you can get sun beds and all of that listen to music djs down there but if you just need your quiet moment like you want to read you just want to chill with your family or yourself if you're traveling alone you just go down there there are lots of trees that makes nice shade where you can just go underneath and it's sand you can spread your towel or whatever you have with you there grab your book and just read chill get in water swim go back under the trees and just chill but let me remind you the weather is extremely hot and um I i'll tell you something like someone that walked into the business place and the person was like oh my goodness i can't like she just couldn't and she was coming from a cold country okay she was coming from a cold european country and this was her first time in greece she couldn't she didn't know what to do she was asking me what, what do i do like is it always like this and i was like if you had known you should have visited two months before now okay coming in around let's say even april may it's better but when talking about june july in greece like get yourself prepared if that's when you're booking your trip your holidays if you don't like heat if you don't like hot weathers then that, that that's not the time for you it's either you wait till september or you yeah. actually so yes it's either you wait until september when the weather is coming down and then you will have a blast okay talking about the nude beach this period everybody is just going to where they can just let themselves go this is not even the time to say i'm gonna rock my swimsuit i'm gonna rock this i'm gonna rock that because the weather is so hot so trust me the nude beaches are packed secondly let me quickly add deep like i said in the beginning of this video and you will hear it uh what i had said was depending on what you want to see when we talk about nude beach like falasana is not a whole like all of falasana is not a nude beach actually okay but they have specific areas where you can go so if it's your first time in falasana you're like oh wow i saw a video on youtube and it said yes people can show you the area 
if you do not know the area but those area you can get there take off your clothes and just lay down by yourself or swim completely not wearing anything completely nude and stuff like that but it's not the whole beach now they have other areas somewhere in around paleohora also where you have like full nude beach that from the moment you park your car you go down the embankment you just see signs that tells you this is a nude beach and as you're going in everybody from the beginning to the end is completely the way their mom and dad did the way their mom gave birth to them okay so right here you can see that we're coming down closer to the beach and and the view where i'm pointing right now where the camera is pointing, you can see hotels those small small buildings that are far away because this, um, this is actually a mountainous and greece is a mountainous country so actually you can see that we're descending okay we've been descending for some time now all right so it's full of hotels make your choice pick the one that you love most now there's also supermarkets around so you don't need to worry get to the airport lounge get your car get your transportation to your hotel and you can find supermarkets around where you can buy your drinks your water whatever you need but trust me the view is something that is going to blow your mind so you see falasana here we are and talking about parking that is not even a problem falasana there is a lot of areas where you can park your car so you don't even need to worry and the parkings are free okay it's not as if you're going to park and you have to pay for it and you're afraid or if you're not renting a car they also have buses but you have to find out from the hotel that you're using and all of that you have to find out and know which area and what is what and what you can get but so many areas like falasana elafoni sea and the rest of them they have big buses that pick up tourists and take them there in the morning and then pick them up let's say by six okay we have like the boat also going to places like balos and all of that if you want to visit balos that's another extremely beautiful area where you can take from Gran Vusa all the way to balos we actually passed Gran Vusa as we were coming here okay but i didn't mention because i was telling you about heat wave but anyways this is a beautiful sunset restaurant it is just at the top from where you descend down to the beach that's where this is situated you can actually sit inside or in the evening when the sun is setting when you have the sun a lot of tourists love this area and if you're up here and you look down directly where you're looking at where you see the rocks a lot of trees and shades those are the areas for people that want to go completely nude and all of that what you see right now okay but then further down you can see the touch and all of that those areas you have to be with your bikini your swimwear your whatnot and all of that this area we're moving through right now that you see little three like i said to you you can find shades you can go underneath it and all of that are for people that don't want to wear anything they just want to be free allow their body to just you know people that want to maybe some tan if they want a little bit and just just lay down in the open or you want to swim without anything walk around this area have your snacks drinks gist some people read their books do any fun thing that you do when you go out to the beach when you're on holidays and whatnot this area is where you get that done if you are in Falasana. And now I think I have a clip where I actually zoomed in and I showed you the other part. But let's see. I would actually explain that if I see. But right now I'm just showing you 360 of the nude area. And if you're if it's your first time, you're still kind of shy, you have these rocks and they kind of cover you up and all of that. Now, this area you see that I zoomed in, you can see lots of people on the other side where you have the water sports and all of that. So those other part is not for people that want to go completely nude. So know that if you are going to Falasana. Okay. Yes, yeah, so like I said, you see, this is a beautiful restaurant where you can just have, and you see fruits and all of that, a fig tree growing by the side, lots of fruit. That's one thing I love about Greece. As you just walk in, you can find fruits along the road. You can pick up one or two for yourself. Nobody's going to say a thing to you. Nobody's going to harass you and nothing. But if you have any questions about the heat wave, you want, to, you want me to talk more about what is happening, comment down below and let me know. Any 
type of video you want to see concerning Greece, if you're maybe planning to visit, let me know in the comment section and I will sure respond with a video of it and all of that. I just love those flowers they had on the wheelbarrow and I wanted to just capture it for you. Anyway, so right now we're descending and here is another little kiosk where, you know, you can have fast food and drink and water let's say maybe you passed the supermarket and you didn't know you can quickly grab something here or maybe you were sitting at the beach for a while you can actually move up a bit and just grab sit there grab something to bite because some people spend lots of hours at the beach so they just swim because it is super super hot but one thing i need you to know is the fact that it's so hot that immediately after you swim you're coming out of the water you are already sweating okay so most times it keeps people at the beach for many many hours okay to just be there swimming and swimming likewise the swimming pools all the swimming pools in the hotels are always packed anytime you go to the hotels if you're you're staying around the hotel and stuff like that you can hear them from early in the morning even before you're waking up people are already at the pool okay reserving space for themselves beds and all of that and people are swimming and getting themselves <laughs> On and all of that but that being said let me know what you think about the falasan okay so something else i wanted to add this clip right here you see me walking you can see a bed right there that's the bed of someone that okay so luckily the person was not there while i was walking i was being very careful with my camera like i said i won't be able to really show you like go in with a camera in a place like that okay because everyone is just completely <clears throat> without anything and you have to respect people's privacy okay because you know where you're going all right that being said this is actually a little bit of clip from the area platanias if that's an area you want to go to then let me know also if you want to see a video if you want to see a video from uh, platanias let me know and i will film that video for you it also has beautiful hotels it's packed with nice stuffs and all of that you can see the beach is packed because it is super hot and everybody is at the beach and they've actually made their the beach their home right now because i think people are spending more hours at the beach than they spend at home okay if they don't work in or whatnot because greece is going through something that they've never experienced and it is difficult for everybody thank you so very much for watching and uh, that's it